Right, folks, well, you just heard a track off the new uh, Magnus Carlsen's Freefall album, uh, of course, called Freefall. It's the uh, first track on the album. Uh, to be honest, I struggled to decide uh, which track to start off with because um, I'll be brutally honest and say that, uh, well, due to the number of musicians who I'm a huge fan of are on the album, it was... Uh, as it goes, right, let's just go with the first track and, and go with the flow. And I'd like to welcome to the show now uh, the man himself, Mr. Magnus Carlsen. Thank you very much. Welcome to Rock Pose Roulette. As I said just then, um, uh, absolutely uh, loving the album. Um, the calibre of oh, musicians you've got. Um, I just The singers that you've got on this album. I mean, it's like you've gone through um, a whole list of um, vocalists that I really, really love and all, and all, and all grabbed them. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them all, and uh, yeah, you know, the first plan was that I, I was going to sing uh, the songs myself and maybe have one or two guests, but uh, then I made it to list that uh, just get longer and longer with uh, these great singers, and they all said yes, we want to do it. So I wrote some songs for them. Well, obviously you um, you've got Tony Harnell on the on the album. Of course, you worked with Tony um, in Starbreaker before. Um, yeah, and, and Tony, I'm a I'm a huge Amari voice, but a massive TNT fan from when the um, the self titled album came out, whenever that was, many many years ago. Um, yeah, but what uh, made you decide to do this side project? Because um, obviously you you are involved in so many different things. Yeah, I, I did a lot of projects, but almost in all the projects, uh, I always have this. Uh, you know, from the uh, record company or from the artist that they want me to write in a certain style or, uh, yeah, or yeah, you know. And uh, now I had the chance to write something totally free and I could do what I want. I guess if I would do a death metal album or something like that, Frontiers Records w would say no. But So it's still in my kind of music. But uh, I felt really free when I did uh, this one. So it, it was great. I mean, people are pigeonholing it into uh, a melodic hard rock album, but I would say it's got quite a hard edge to it, probably in keeping with maybe some of your Primal Fear stuff. Yeah, some songs. I, I think I would call it hard rock maybe, but the sound is more metal, uh, the, the guitars and drum sound. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think so much about how I write melodies, if it's hard rock or what it is. I, I just uh, I think it's the production that makes it... Uh, metal or hard rock. I'm going to say, uh, based on the feedback you've probably been getting with this album, um, is it uh, something that you're going to release a second album of? We haven't decided yet. Uh, I guess the uh, Frontiers Records they they are waiting for the sales and <laughs> and, and see how it goes. Right. And uh, but I would like to do it. Actually, that guest list w was a little bit longer, so I have a couple of singers I can could uh, have on the next one. So I hope we will do it. Well, you just beat me to the, the next question. I was going to say, would you, if you did a second one, would you be doing it with the same singers? I say, or obviously picking some others. Who else uh, was on your guest list? If I can cheekily ask. Yeah, I, I was asking um, Jolene Turner, for example, and he, he really liked the song, but he was touring uh, uh, in, I think, in Russia, or he couldn't m make it for this one. And uh, actually, I, I think you maybe, I, I can't sing like Jolene Turner, but uh, on the demo side, try to sing a little like the singers, so it, it, it will be easier for them to, so it was the song Ready or Not that was uh, he was supposed to sing it, so... Right. Yeah, and I ha had a couple of ones that I was thinking of, but then I had a budget, and you know, and uh, so <laughs> maybe John Lander will uh, will make it on the next one, and we'll see. Oh God, you keep adding on singers that I love. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, uh, John Lander, fabulous. Jolene Turner. I mean, what can you say about him? An absolute uh, consummate performer. <laughs> yeah, as I said, it's uh, definitely my uh, wish list I, I, of vocals. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. That, that's why I'm trying to have the ones that I really like and then it's easy to write good songs if you have these great singers that you really admire. One album that you worked on, um, which I will just mention, which um, another guy who I, um, I like, uh, well, first of all, through his main project, Bob Catley, was the Immortal album, which is absolutely superb. And of course, um, you did all the writing on that album. Yeah, I did, and uh, Dennis Ward did a uh, production, so I, I only played, 
I think one guest solo, and I, I, I did the keyboards on the album too. Yeah, I really, I'm a big, big fan of Bob, Bob Cathy and listen a lot to the Magnum albums, and that was really an honor to write those songs, and I, I hope we can do something in the future. Again, I think it, I think he's quite. Bu- sorry, go on. He's quite busy with with Magnum and Avantasia right now. So. Well, Avantasia is another one which seems to be like ha- how many brilliant vocalists can they can they grab onto an album? So uh, yeah, 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 I know. I w- I would say on that uh, Immortal album, um, whether it's your influence or whether it's something that uh, Bob wanted to go with, it's obviously a much harder edge than obviously the Magnum stuff that uh, that he's done over the years. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's a bit harder, but uh, I remember when I wrote it, I was really thinking about doing something in in uh, the Magnum style, but a little bit harder. And then, so it's not so close to his other solo albums, I think. No, no, indeed, I totally agree. Mm. Going forward, what have you got on the cards um, project-wise at the moment? I say, because you have got so many projects, um, is, it, is it hard for you keeping track of where you are with everybody? Yeah, I think it's uh, quite cool, and I I don't write that much anymore because I have small kids, and I uh, I also sure. uh, have Primal Fear that <laughs> takes Indeed. a lot of time. We we, we are touring, and uh, we uh, actually did a, a festival last week with them, and uh, yeah, it it takes a lot of time. But we are working on the new Primal Fear album right now, and I'm uh, I'm done with my guitars, and we're gonna start with the drums on Monday, and it's yeah, it feels really great. I'm a big fan of that band, so, so it's really uh, great to be in it, and especially to uh, get the chance to write songs with and them too. That's, that's really great. And after that, the plan is that we will, me and Matt from uh, Matt from Primal Fear, will uh, uh, another uh, Kiss Kiss Somerville album. That's the plan. So yeah, I'm quite busy wow. this year. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, how, I, I I struggle to find time to do. Uh, a quarter of the stuff that you do so with a small family as well um i honestly don't know how you manage it <laughs> no it's tricky especially with touring you know with small kids and uh, yeah. <laughs> i can imagine <laughs> well matt uh well all, all i can say magnus is uh many thanks for uh, obviously spending a few minutes to come on the show i uh, you're probably uh, sick to death of doing interviews by now but uh i appreciate you taking no, no, the time no, to it's come great. on <laughs> And all I can it's say, once, yeah, thank you very much. All I can say once again is, um, absolutely love the album, um, fabulous job, and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that you do get another one out. Um, and if you can grab uh, Jolyn Turner on, uh, that uh, that will be absolutely fabulous. I will absolutely give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, Magnus. Many thanks for your time. Thanks, Neil. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>